Hey guys, so if you can't tell already, we are going to be doing a set of extra, 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 extra long nails today. I've had these tips for quite some time now, but I just never had a reason to pull them out until a bunch of you started tagging me in videos and pictures using these tips. And so I figured it is time to finally use them. Today I will be using these tips and I'll be using acrylic on them today because I will basically put them on my nails and then we'll try to see how long I can live with them. Then when I'm done with this length and I wanna go down to something more reasonable like that, I can just file them down and I still have a nail that I can wear for a certain amount of time. So let's get into it. So we're going to start off by just lightly etching my actual nail to get any shiny off of the surface. You don't want any oil or anything like that or the nails are not going to last. And the tips, I can already tell I'm gonna have a small issue with them just because they're so thick. So I really need them to be able to stick to my nail. I'm just doing this very lightly and mainly around the cuticle area. Then I'm gonna take this E-Nail Couture Pre Prime and I'm gonna put that all over my nails. And this is essentially a dehydrator. And then now it is time to put the tips on. So with these tips, I am just going to cut a little bit off of the part where you attach your nail, just because I don't want them to be like full cover tips. All right, then I'm just going to use some of this McCart glue and put them on. With these ones, you're gonna to wanna to give them plenty of time to dry. You don't wanna rush it. I don't know why I'm talking as if someone's going to be like recreating these nails. There we go, here's the start. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> They're on. I wonder how long I could last with these. I don't know. So with these, because they are so thick, like I'm going to file down the ridge right here because they just, I got to. And I'm gonna try to file down these sides a little bit as well. I just wanna be careful not to knock any of these off. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my dust collector and I'm going to do it over this so that I can keep it clean. I'm just going to be using one of these sanding bits to try to smooth this out a little bit because these tips are so thick. I understand why they have to be so thick, but like I really gotta even that out a bit. Okay, so I filed all of those down. I really just did the sides a little bit because I'm not gonna just do too much. I feel like they're a little too fragile on my nail right now to just be like back and forth with the file. So I'll file them after I put the acrylic on. So for my monomer, I'm gonna be using the Mia Secret Liquid Monomer. And then I will be using this Sparkle & Co. Dip Acrylic, this Dip Acrylic, and this Dip Acrylic as well as just the regular hard candy clear acrylic. The dip acrylics I like to use even as regular acrylic because I find all that it really changes is like the consistency. Usually the dip acrylics are just a little bit thinner than just the regular like clears that are actually meant to be used with monomer, which is totally fine with me. And then I'll be using my candy coat number 12 brush. So my goal is to not make these super, super thick because if I do, it's going to take me literally hours and hours and hours to file. Look how pretty that is. So I am going to try to do these thin and then, so if I try to do them thin, they'll probably end up like a normal person's normal 
Is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know. Wow, these are so pretty. I am going to just put on my Apre primer really quick before I do anything else. Just on my natural nail. And here we go. So I'm gonna start off with like a, just one like clear bead of acrylic. And sort of just brush that down a little bit. Okay, so I've pretty much meshed my like real nail and the tip. So now I'm gonna grab just a tiny bit more of this clear and I'm just going to just do a really thin layer over this entire thing. I don't even have like a proper term for it. It's not even a tip, it's just a thing at this point. Like, oh my gosh. And then this is where I'm gonna start grabbing some of these dip acrylics. These are just so pretty. Love them. Wow. I don't really want to be seeing my natural nail too much with these ones. A lot of the time I do like the clear look, but not with these ones. Then I'm gonna grab some of this one. There we go. And do it up down here. So I can do like an ombre. And then I am just going to clear cap that somehow. This is going to use so much acrylic. <laughs> I'm really trying to work as clean as I can because again, I do not want to be filing these into the night, but I also don't want them to break. I don't think that would be fun at all. Here's how it looks from the side right now. I think I also might let some of these dry a little bit before I go back and like add more just so we can see. Okay, here we go. Here's the snail for now anyway. I know it's, is it too thin? It's probably way too thin. I just don't want to add it too much to it, if you know what I mean. Let's work on this snail. I keep wanting to like put these down, but it just makes it like so inconvenient. <laughs> I don't even know how to do this, okay like this. I'll try anyway. Again, I'm just gonna put down a nice little clear bead to start with. And I'm gonna really try to like focus my nail downward because I had it flowing in my cuticle a little bit and I just want to let gravity do its thing on this right now. So something one of you told me and it's always stuck with me is that your brush gets all clumpy because you're wiping it in the same spot. So make sure to always be changing where you're wiping your brush. And that's always worked for me now. Like I feel like I don't have that many issues with it anymore. So let's put some of this blue on here. This blue is so pretty. Like, look at that, so pretty. I know most of this is like just glitter, but there's a little bit of acrylic in here. This color is so pretty though, oh my gosh. I feel like, why do dip acrylics have the prettiest colors? I always feel like I'm using dip acrylic and not actual acrylic. I just feel like I always have better colors in dip. Look at how pretty this is. And then I'm just going to put a clear coat over this. Somehow trying to do it like this. Doing the nails like this is so hard at this angle, but I want you guys to be able to see. Here's the side on this one. I'm building up this one a little bit better. Okay, I'm trying to make this look as good as possible for filming. So next, let's do this next nail. I think I can film like this pretty well. I'm gonna just put one bead over here. Sorry, this video is not going to be as talkative as normal. I have a lot more concentration <laughs> than normal. I usually, I don't, anticipate on like struggling on a set of nails and I have not done acrylic in a long time I've just been focusing on like poly gel mainly 
so I feel like my acrylic skills are really rusty. I got good at acrylic for like a good minute and then I started mainly doing poly gel. And then I also have a bunch of these little decals here that I think I'm gonna use a couple of. I mainly wanna use these little stars over here in this bottom corner. I don't even know if you'll be able to see these that much. Well, I guess kind of. I think I want to use this blue again. I just think this blue is like the prettiest color I've ever seen. Like, don't you agree? Okay, so last nail. Then I think of this nail, I'm gonna mainly do this color just cause I didn't really do this color and it is so pretty. Maybe I'll put in a little bit of pink to make it match a little bit better. Okay, yeah, I gotta add some pink, otherwise it's not going to mesh. It'll be like the thumb. Okay, so. These nails, although they do seem pretty thin, remember I'm not keeping them on a super long time. Well, I'm not keeping them at this length for a super long time. I'll chop them down to however long these ones are. So the ends being a little bit thinner, okay. This acrylic is like so strong though, that even up at like this, like it's not, it's like bending because it's not 100% dry, but it's not like really fragile or anything. Okay, here we pretty much are. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this one to dry. These ones are pretty much dry already. And then I'm gonna have some filing to do. I would say these are pretty strong though, just so far. So let me put all of this acrylic away and I will get back and we will do some filing somehow, some way. Okay, I have come back from filing and here they are. Now I'm gonna put on a top coat and hopefully cure them. These things are like as long as my light. So hopefully I don't have too much of a problem. Okay, I'm gonna just use the Apray gel top coat. I'm gonna have to use so much gel top coat, oh my gosh. I did file down a little too much on some of the cuticles and some of the glitter got taken away, but it's okay. Okay, now to cure. All right, I'm excited to see how this blue looks. Ooh, so pretty. Again, this is one of the places where I filed down the cuticle a little too much. Not too much, I mean like it, the structure is kind of right, but it's just, I should have put a little bit thinner of a clear coat on the bottom and more glitter, essentially. I must have had some like dirty monomer right there because that one got all cloudy right there. Do you see what I mean? Oh well.
All right, and into the light somehow. And essentially here they are. I don't know if I wanna add any rhinestones or anything to these right now. I think I kind of just want to like let them be. They actually are really smooth somehow. Like look at the structure on this one. I actually like somehow did okay on it. It was actually a challenge to do that, but nonetheless, I did. Uh, let me put some cuticle oil on and here they are in there. I don't know how long, let's measure these. Like four inch long glory. <laughs> Three and a half inch long, then three inches, almost three and a half, three inches, almost three. So basically about uh, three inch long nails. I'm really disappointed that the monomer got dirty and it like clouded up some of these. I wish I had more glitter stuff to put on. You know what? Let's, I have an idea. When in doubt, put hollow on it, right? Right? Okay. Okay, so even though I put a top coat on and cuticle oil, that's fine. Basically what I'm gonna do is just get some rubbing alcohol and then I'm just going to wipe off my nails. There we go. And this should stick to it now. I, I don't want it like entirely hollow, so I kind of just want to like do it kind of sparse like that and sort of paint it on a bit then do like the entire thing completely opaque with the hollow. There we go. Now we're talking, this is much better. It fixes everything. And then see, this will fix the problem on this one and it'll make each one look even better. Here we go, much better. I feel a lot better with these now. I kind of felt like they were a little disappointing, but now I don't feel like they're disappointing. Like all of that for like some cloudy <laughs> acrylic nails. Okay, this is better. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a different top coat because this one I have designated for like hollow and different powders and stuff like that so that I don't get like a bunch of powder and stuff in my other top coats. Okay, so I'm actually like slowly getting used to this length. I would worry about like breaking a nail and then like damaging my actual nail, having them this long, like long-term, but like it's not that bad so far. I mean, I haven't really done anything. Might be speaking too soon, but just saying. Okay, here. Okay, now that is more like it. Let me go wash off all of this hollow that's now literally everywhere. So here are the final nails. I know they are totally ridiculous, but I actually love them. I actually think they turned out really good. The structure is not the worst thing in the world. Could it be better? Yes, you know, it's fine. If I chop them to match the length, they're gonna be like a definite square. I know my cuticles are a little not happy right now. It's kind of hard to file these because you kind of have to hold it on the side while you file it. So I ended up just like getting myself a couple times on the side walls, but here they are. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep these on like this. I don't know. I really like them, but I hope everyone that tagged me in these tips is happy with this video. Most of the time, no one asks for videos like this, but this time you guys did ask for this, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you thought it was fun or entertaining, or you know, if you hate these, give it a dislike. 
If I film anything more with these nails, I'll just leave it after this. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye. Ooh, I like those a lot. These are fun. These are very long. You did a good job. Thank you. How good you did. I'm surprised how good you did with how long they are. These are really good. Good job. Okay.